Now, dear students, I'm going to give example of sitting also coffee production. So let's take example of the uh, Starbucks. Let's watch. So uh, everybody knows the Starbucks sign, right? So as you can see, this is the Starbucks uh, supply chain example. So this is a label of Starbucks, right? Now. So coffee supply chain. So some background information, background information like where it came from and stuff like this. So actually Starbucks has 23,450 worldwide stores. And every year they serve uh, like three trillion or something like this coffee every year. And almost like 70,000 worldwide deliveries uh, each month, each week, I'm sorry. And also we can see that in 2014, like the revenue was 16.45 uh, billion dollars. Okay, let's look to the supply chain. So beginning of the supply chain is coffee plantation and then roasting and packaging. So when the coffee is ready, then uh, global delivery and distribution can be done in order to reach the final customers. Okay, coffee plantations, actually uh, the coffee is in the coffee plantations, they, that's uh, the raw material of the coffee actually. And there are six global roasting and packaging plants of Starbucks in the world. So actually what the Starbucks have done is uh, they, ha they do actually roasting and packaging themselves in their own centuries because they have removed the third party roasting and packaging centers. So they save some money. So they do it everything themselves. So actually it's a centralized work and they do and centralize all the works, all the supply chain process themselves. Now let's look to the distribution flow chart. Uh, so uh, first of all, in the supply market, they receive coffee beans. 
then they store these coffee beans okay in the storage and then uh, they uh, do sifter and after that they do assortments and then they do roasting after that they do quality testing okay after the quality testing they do cooling blending final testing and there are some cases if the what if the quality testing fails so if it fails they discard it they just you know throw it away i mean okay if final testing gets failed again they just throw it away it means they discard it so if it's okay if everything is okay here in quality testing final testing after that they do packaging they do palletizing then finish it good and then order fulfillment so all this is supply chain okay Okay, transforming resources, let's say stuff in coffee brewing equipment, like uh, different coffee making uh, equipment, either to prepare coffee servings of consistent quality and uh, high specialized machines to provide customers with an authentic brewing cast. Okay, also every new hire, let's say new worker, assigned to carry a development manager. Uh, to provide extensive and ongoing training. So all these uh, workers, they get training and everything in areas such as values, customer service, and co uh, coffee brewing. So Starbucks aims to serve all customers within three minutes, starting from the moment they enter the store. Uh, so Starbucks continually aims to reduce the time it takes to serve one customer. For example, last uh, year, um, Thanks for watching. Thank